The next case is a case of a 71-year-old obese female with a history of knee pain who presents to the office for evaluation and treatment. The patient states that she has no pain as long as she's sitting, but going downstairs hurts her much more than going upstairs. Her knees are always swollen and become very stiff after sitting for about 30 minutes. She has to use a pillow between her knees when she sleeps and she cannot walk more than a few steps before stopping. Her past medical history is negative for rheumatoid or any other connective tissue diseases. Talana helps sometimes. She says, I have tried everything including acupuncture, synthesis injections, cortisone injections, and anti-inflammatory medication with no improvement. The patient is 5 feet tall and weighs over 280 pounds. She has been advised for a total knee replacement. The prevalence of both obesity and knee arthritis continue to increase globally, more so in developed countries. In the United States alone, almost 33% of the adult population are considered as obese, while knee pain is the number one reason for visits to the center. Weight loss can decrease knee pain if the patient is greatly overweight. However, weight loss alone is unlikely to completely relieve the pain. Obesity also makes other complications such as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Studies have shown that obese persons, especially obese older women, are at a higher risk for knee osteoarthritis. We have learned from the Framingham study, the largest study done up to this point, which is a landmark study, it began in 1948, in which some 12,000 residents of the town of Framingham, Massachusetts were enrolled, that a drop in weight as little as 11 pounds can decrease the risk of developing knee osteoarthritis. On the basis of epidemiologic findings such as these, the center likes to start our weight loss program as early as possible on patients who suffer from osteoarthritis of the knee, hip or ankle, the weight-bearing joints.